everybody, welcome back to part two of the vacuum mansion tutorial. If you didn't already watch part one, I will probably link it up there and also in a pinned comment as well as maybe in the description too. As I said in the previous part one, I will be doing the tutorial for the carburetor, throttle valve, and the valve and its crank as well, and its stand too. I'm, I'm gonna try and keep this video relatively short as I want to keep it short anyway. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the rest of this tutorial. So if you don't um, remember from the last part or, or episode or whatever, um, this is what we left off with and it is the base um, cylinder and flywheel as well as a piston. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the carb and the valve. And for the valve, I will actually be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial, so every piece. And for the carb, it'll be pretty basic. So let's get started. So as I said, we are going to start off with the valve. And these are all the pieces that you're going to need in order to build it. And I will be making a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do so. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your um six long half stud wide beam technic beam and you're going to take your gray frictionless pin and you're going to put it through the top hole on here like that next what you want to do is you want to take a one by four with three holes and you're going to put it through the middle hole like this and this will be the very bottom of your valve Next, you want to take your other 1x4 with three holes, put it on like here. And I just like to use the ones with the holes because of the fact that they provide less friction and more smoothness. So the next thing is you grab a 1x4 plate and you're going to put it on top of this. And you're also going to take your two 1x1s and put it on each side like this. Next you're going to take this corner piece. It doesn't have to be clear if you have a similar one, but yeah. So you're going to take a 1x2 plate and put it in the middle on the bottom like this. And what this will do is it allows the suction to be cut off sooner and because when the valve goes down it doesn't completely leave vicinity of the hole of the carb so it allows some suction to get through if you don't have it which is why that you want to put it on here but anyway you want to put it so that the flat part is facing towards the beam like this that is your completed valve now we're going to do the crank for it so you're going to take one of these crankshaft pieces and a half stud bushing and you're going to put it on like this and you're also going to take your valve and you're going to put it on like this it should look like this next you're going to take your other crankshaft piece and you're going to put it on aligned with the other one and, else, and lastly you're going to take your um, one stud bushing and put it on the end of this here. And just like that, that is the entire valve built and we will attach this later. Next we have the throttle valve. Now this is what controls the speed of the engine. So when you pull it back, the engine will receive more suction from the vacuum and it will spin over faster and have more RPM. <clears throat> so first up, you want to take a eight long axle with a stopper at the end and you're going to take this um i like to call it an inverter piece and you're going to slide it all the way onto the end take a four long axle with a stopper on the end or it could be any axle if you want but i i like to use the stopper ones and put it on here like this and this will actually be the handle that you push down in order to open and close the valve so next you want to take a one by one of the hole put it through and then we're going to actually create the valve itself so first you want to take one of these 
three long um, one hole, two axle hole, whatever things. And you're going to put a two long axle like this and then put the second one like this. And then you can take your pin, put it through, and then you can use the other ones like this. Make sure that everything fits. And you're gonna put the last one on like this and you should have a solid mass of these. And you're just going to simply slide it on. And one thing that I should note is it should be facing out towards the direction of the handle. So as you can see, these are facing the same way and they just go on like that. Next, you wanna take your last one by one with the hole and fit it on and you're and I like to use these because you can have an external attachment that to control the the about the throttle if you want and it just goes on the end like this and once you have that um, it's pretty straightforward everything should be up against it so you gotta push it up like this and there you go that is the, um, the throttle valve so guys, we're almost there. We're almost done. This is the base of the throttle housing. And basically what it is, is it is um, a 6x6 six six base plate with two 1x6 plates going up like this. And also there is two 1x2 two plates going up like this. And two 1x1s here. And two 1x4s that go on the sides like this. Now, this is where the vacuum will be attaching to, like right in this hole is where the suction will be going through. So this, on these sides will be the walls, and right here is where our throttle valve will be going. This is just to keep it in place. So we're going to grab our throttle valve, and as you can see, it looks like this. You just put it right in there, and it should, look like this with the when the handles up and the valve is up like this and as you can see when there's suction applied to it it can open and close and regulate the suction level now we're going to put on the valve cover or yeah so the valve cover this is pretty basic it is just a couple layers so it goes on like this you're gonna want two of these so one on each side, just two by two with one by twos on the on the top. And then what we have here is more another you just keep building up the layer, so and you're going to take a one by six plate and make sure that these don't fall off while you're doing this and simply put them on and attach it like this. And as you can see, this is what we have. Now the last part is basically a four by six base plate with a um, one by two here and a plate, and then another one by two, two more one by twos, and another one by six, which goes there. So what this will do is it'll create a nice cover and yeah, so yeah, um, we just want to put it on the top just like this. And there you go. That is the entire carburetor all built. And as you can see, it regulates how much suction goes through. And this is where it attaches to the actual engine, which is what we're going to be doing next. But obviously, before we attach the car, we need to attach the valve first. So as you can see, um, it, it'll it be attaching on this side, and this will be where the valve um, sits. So one thing that you need to know about building an engine, especially a vacuum engine, is the fact that the valve always needs to be 90 degrees ahead in the direction that your engine is turning. So for instance, mine will be turning counterclockwise, looking at, looking at it from this direction. So what you wanna do is, if your piston is at bottom dead center, like it is right now, all you wanna do 
is put the valve crank like this, which is 90 degrees ahead. And you have to make sure that it's aligned properly. So make sure it goes into that housing. And there you go. The piston is still at bottom dead center, but the valve is 90 degrees ahead of that. So now we have the completed valve. Now we just attach the carb on like this. And it's really that simple. Um, the engine is complete. All you have to do is stick this frame or this housing that I have, which is just four layers and a one by four with three holes. It just goes on here to hold the valve. And then all we have to do last, this is the last thing that you have to do to build your engine, but it's by far the most important is the cylinder cover. So that just goes on there like that. And there you go. That is the entire vacuum engine. Um, I hope you, that you found this tutorial helpful. Um, like I said, if you didn't watch part one, I will be putting it down in the description as well as in a pinned comment. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I read your comments. I always reply. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment. Like I said, if you got any suggestions, let me know. And yeah, that is the entire engine. I will probably put a video on running this if I can, if I have time. But yeah, that is basically it, guys. I hope you found this well, and I will see you all in the next video.